St. Anthony of Padua lived from 1195 to 1231. He died at Arcella near Padua, Italy on June 13th, 1231. He was only 36 when he died. He was canonized a saint on Pentecost the following year by Pope Gregory the Ninth, and his fame soon spread immediately after his death. Anthony was born in Lisbon, Portugal, and was baptized with the name Ferdinand. At an early age, he attended the school of the canons of St. Augustine, and after two years, he transferred to the Augustinians of Coimbra, where he remained for nine years. Deeply affected by the sight of the bodies of five Franciscan proto-martyrs, he became very acquainted with the Franciscan friars in Coimbra. He joined the Franciscan order and took the name Anthony as his name and religion. A few weeks later, he embarked for Morocco in Africa, but after a short stay, he had to leave because of illness. However, due to storms at sea, he was forced to disembark at Sicily and then went on to the mainland of Italy. He took part in the general chapter of the Franciscans at Portuncula in 1221, where he met St. Francis of Assisi. He was ordained to the priesthood in Italy and began a preaching ministry that took him through northern Italy to southern France and into the stronghold of the Albigensians. Returning to Italy in 1227, he reached his zenith as a preacher at Padua. He was also the first Franciscan to teach theology and was named a lector by St. Francis himself. He died at Padua, where he had been assigned since 1230, and the city gave him a triumphal funeral. He is buried there in the basilica that bears his name. The opening prayer of the Mass of St. Anthony recognizes him as an outstanding preacher that God gave to his people. St. Anthony gave evidence of his preaching skill very early in his priesthood. Pope Gregory the Ninth and Thomas of Vercelli rightly called him an Ark of the New Testament because of his biblical teachings. He was also called the Hammer of Heretics. Above all, though, he was an authentic Franciscan, faithful to the traditions established by St. Francis of Assisi. In an excerpt from a sermon preached by St. Anthony for the Feast of Pentecost, it says of him, the man who is filled with the Holy Spirit speaks in different languages. These different languages are different ways of witnessing to Christ, such as humility, poverty, patience, and obedience. We speak in these languages when we reveal in ourselves these virtues to others. Actions speak louder than words. So let your words teach and your actions speak. Sometimes we are full of words but empty of actions. In the opening prayer of his Mass, we pray, with his assistance, may we follow the gospel of Christ and know the help of your grace in time of need. Many popular devotions exist to St. Anthony as a helper of the oppressed, his name is attached to the law promulgated in Padua in 1231, exempting from imprisonment those who could not pay their fines or other financial debts. He is rightly invoked as a ready helper in time of need. To this day, St. Anthony's bread is still distributed to the poor by Franciscan friars throughout the world. We are called to imitate the saint whom St. Francis of Assisi called his bishop. His knowledge of sacred scripture made him competent in theological disputes, and it also made him a great master of persuasion. He is pictured in art with a book signifying his love of scripture, with a flaming heart signifying his zeal as a preacher, and like in our balcony, holding the infant Jesus in his arms, recalling a visit from the infant during one of his raptures. 
but for us the relevance of St. Anthony is his fidelity to the gospel, his zeal in dialoguing with those in error, and his loving concern for the poor. Let us pray for St. Anthony's intercession. Almighty God, you have given St. Anthony to your people as an outstanding preacher and a ready helper in time of need. With his assistance, may we follow the gospel of Christ and know the help of your grace in every difficulty. Amen. St. Anthony, pray for us.